Kurt. You're so predictable. I knew you were a bastard, but I didn't think you'd be part of this disgrace. Have fun, soldiers. The traitors must die. Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors. Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We surrendered without resistance to avoid a fight and to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders. And we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! All this bullying and humiliation is only intended to turn you into weapons, not soldiers. And when a weapon is no longer needed, its owner throws it away rather than risk injury. That's why Rayner was disposed of. Being a soldier doesn't mean being a puppet. Put your weapons down. They're right, mates. I don't want to end up in the harbor. What do you think, soldier? You think we can trust them? It's over, Lieutenant. These recruits won't do your dirty work for you anymore. You're finally here. <sighs> Sorry, Captain. The boy resisted longer than planned. You were spared the shame of seeing how far your comrades have fallen. What happened? They surrendered. Like the weaklings they are. That should make the next night training sessions interesting. What have you done with Wilhelm? He received the punishment for traitors and insurgents. Cut. I'm terribly sorry. Say, don't you recruit? Stop! Soldiers, are you really? We surrendered without well, we enough. Or and we, we what it's up. You're finally. <gasps> you what? Let's what? Here. Say, don't you recruit? Despite what Wilhelm told me, I wasn't expecting this. He's getting destroyed. They'll kill him. We can't let them get away with it. Stop! We won't let you kill this boy like you killed Rayner. Soldiers! Do you realize what you're doing? Captain? But... You shouldn't be here. This time, you won't get away with it. To arms! Kurt, if we want to save Wilhelm, I fear we don't have a choice. I'm afraid you're right. These poor kids. Just cannon fodder. Attack! Put a poison on my belt. Then let's go! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Let's see if we can ward off this. Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive. Thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. 
You'd better stay here until we've taken care of the camp's captain. I'll try to dress my wound in the meantime. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us. Let's hope that Rolf didn't hear the sounds of combat. Surprise is our best ally. You're right. Let's try to approach discreetly. So predictable. Come soldiers. Yeah. The traitors must die. Yeah. Stop! Soldiers, are you really gonna obey these scoundrels? Do I we surrendered without Well what do you want? Can we know what Enough! I don't see a way to not as much. Yeah. Yeah. And let's go! Men were thrashed. You disappoint me, Lieutenant. I expected better from your troops. Oh, sorry, Captain. But where's the second squadron? They should have been here a long time ago. Forget them, Rolf. They're not coming back. You manipulated them so well that we were forced to kill them. What a waste. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, you'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for so long. A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. What about you, Wilhelm? Thank you for saving my life. Without you... I hope you can forget all about this. This is not what the Guard is about. In the meantime, you stay here to take care of survivors, Wilhelm. I'll make sure you receive your transfer orders quickly. I'll do my best, Captain. Thanks again. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go and see her immediately. Sieglinda, I need to talk to you. 
What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp. Where elite soldiers are trained. Through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it. Even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard. And that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinder. And reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. You will always be welcome. Come closer, good people. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? 
I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Ah, my child, I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her, and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems to resolve first. I understand. Come and find me with... I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Noughts are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Noughts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course seek out the Bishop Domitius. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child.
Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sarde. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared. And I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Fernando and the Admiral are close. When she was captain, he was her chief mate. She trusts him completely. That's why she put him in charge of the management of the port of San Mateus. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island.
May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Good day. Greetings. May the word of Saint Mateus guide you. Good day. I'm looking for two men, Norts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. We're approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop on conversations, we should be discreet. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. You know I have Mother Cardinal's ear. Is she aware of your initiatives? I... I, I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist, these noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution.
Ah, your excellency. The enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course the pagan Noughts would be among them. They are very secretive, and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? <laughs>